Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Whatever Wednesday, and well, the whatever in this case is currently my crippling addiction to playing Valheim, a survival kind of crafting game set in the, well, quote-unquote fictional 10th world of Yggdrasil. <laughs> if you want to be technical, all the worlds of Yggdrasil are fictional, but y you know, it's it's not canon Norse mythology. But yeah, we're uh, playing some Valheim, and we're going to be working on uh, getting a boar tower. I, I call them boar towers. They're probably called something else by the people that came up with them. But yeah, we're going to be getting a boar tower put together, and we're going to just work on getting more bronze so that we can uh, get our, our gear a little better. But before we begin with that, Dr. Mavis's Mean Bean Machine. I should play that game sometime. I played that game as a kid, and I remember it being a hard as fuck, so maybe that's something we could play sometime. We can, we can play Dr. Robotnik's fucking torture machine. <laughs> Good morning, Osgo. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we're, we're, we're fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund. Where they pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. If that sounds like something you'd like to contribute towards, I have a donation button below my stream. I have a donate command, exclamation point donate. My chatbot shares that command every 30 minutes. And when the stream, stream screen comes up, I have a QR code in the bottom left corner you can scan. And all these will take you to the Tiltify donation page. I do not see any kickback or any, of any kind from this. It's just so that I can fundraise while doing whatever I do. Any support is greatly appreciated, and your you being here is appreciated. So either way, thank you. <clears throat> okay. Oh, not that excited. <laughs> not that excited about making a uh, tedious uh, structure, like, high in the sky that I've got to, like, somehow get up to and build. It's going to be a little uh, slow. That's okay. And as expected, my cat's already yelling to himself in the living room. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta yell. It's eventually gonna display a Valheim. It takes a minute for it to kind of show up. And OBS. Yeah, I've got an unhealthy obsession with this game. <laughs> well, I'm not yelling because my roommate's probably still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's my offline file. Uh, we're, we're still a little, um, oh jeez, which one is it now? I think it's, uh, pr it's probably this one, yeah, it's this one, I've got too many, I've got too many, uh, I think it's this one though, it seems like it's this one, and then we got Strim, Me, my names, New World, Strim, and Valheim, so, so creative. I have one single brain cell, but it's not very good about thinking about file names for <laughs> games. <laughs> so screen actually gives pretty good tips. Like, yeah, out at nighttime the spawn rates are higher. Okay, yeah, this was the right file and the right character. I have arrived. Okay. Let's put away some stuff, because we're just got a bunch of garbage in our bags. Cause we're going to have to go get some wood to for this boar tower scheme to come to fruition, because, mm, yeah, it's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot of fucking wood. Sounds like the boars are already doing their thing, which is good. We want that to happen. Now the way the way that the way that the breeding works in Valheim is um, 
That there's like can only be a certain amount of animals within like a certain like radius of like meters. And so if there are, then the, the animals will stop breeding. But if you get the offspring out of that radius, they will continue just to breed as long as they have the the need the the, the will to do so and it's pretty easy to get them to do that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go cut some more wood. Probably just gonna go to like the forest over here. Actually, wait. I have a something I've been meaning to make anyway. Let's see, where's my metal? Uh, we need to make some bronze nails. And that will let us make, on top of other things, that will let us make some new stuff. And one of those is going to be a cart, which we can use to just haul a bunch of stuff around. Which in this case, we're going to go cut a bunch of wood and haul it all back in, in the cart. Uh, we're, put our little thing away. Uh, let's see, four. A uh, cart is going to take... 20 wood and 10 nails, that's actually pretty cheap. Okay, so I'll just kind of go outside and we'll put, we'll slam dunk this cart down. Alright, cool. Cart, that was pretty easy. <clears throat> okay, put that away. Put the nails back in our little box. We'll just put them in here for now, I guess. Food-wise, though, we kind of need to figure that out because I've been kind of just scraping along for a while. Uh, we, we've got some honey. We could probably stick. We could probably eat some of that for now. Getting other foods is probably going to be more annoying than that. And while we're also running around the forest trying to get trees, we can hunt some more deer, but. Cook some more deer meat up since that's one of our other main foods here. We got this little little nugget here. Don't want to let the don't let the want the, don't want the don't want to leave this on here and forget about it because otherwise we will uh, have coal and not deer meat. I see you over there, little man. What are you doing? And as quickly as he, as, as quickly as he arrived, he has left. <laughs> now it would be a little bit more effective if I had more than two of these little cooking stick things above the fire, but... I was trying to make as compact of a space as possible with this stuff. I could probably reorganize this to be a little easier to use as a cooking area. Have like another kind of spot over there. I don't know if this is going to be my, be my permanent base. It's not really in a great place for that. like. It's near a river, but I don't know if that river is going to be good enough to use for uh, getting boats in and out. Because sailing is a pretty big part of this game, for better or for worse. And well, we can probably make some more of uh, the boar jerky as well. Thankfully, this doesn't do stuff on that one crafting station. We'll just craft them until we have a full stack, and then we'll put the rest of the uh, meat away. Let's see, flint head arrows. All right, that's fine. Whatever. Let's fix our other garbage. And it's already kind of evening time. It feel it seems like, but 
Let's check out our carrots. Ooh, I see some uh, some seeds are popping up. Those would be nice to have when they're finished, which looks like they're getting close to be. Basically, plant one carrot as a seed carrot, and then it turns into three seeds, and then you can plant those to make more carrots that way, and so on and so forth. How are y'all doing? Oh, I've already started preparing this area even last stream. Okay, there's a piggy there's okay we got five uh, pigs in there we're probably gonna take from that stock to get the boars where they need to go let's scrub our cart we'll just go get some wood real quick Whee. <clears throat> Here, deer somewhere. I just don't see it. Oh no, I see it now. Well, I made that thing. That might be a boar. Yeah, that was a boar. <laughs> I was like, I see it. <laughs> That's another boar. Uh, well. Rude. This is probably a boar stone in that case, considering there was a one star next to it. That's okay, it's fine. We already we have two star boars that we have been breeding, so those are these are lower star rating, which higher stars means more drops when they are defeated. One stars give just once generally like one allotment of drops. Uh one stars give double that, or at least more drops, depending on which creature it is. And two stars give, like, four times. So having these two star boards that we have is in extremely good uh, fucking rocks. <laughs> let our, sta our stamina recover, and we'll cut down some trees. Yeah, we're gonna need a good a good amount of wood to build this thing because we have to not only build the platform on top of this big pole that we're gonna be building out of the ground but we're also gonna need a lot of wood to make uh, ramps to get the boars up in their little floating castle <laughs> basically that's a thick tree it's a thick birch out of thick solidarity I might leave that one alone Thick plants gotta stick together. <laughs> oh, we killed another tree with just this one tree's uh, hubris. Yeah, you can start some pretty hilariously big, uh, like, forest uh, collapses by just trying to cut wood. Because the trees can damage each other as they're falling, and then. Yeah. little plant man plant man how much wood is that now well that's another stack and some change let's put that in here and there's enough light out we could probably well yeah it's not dark yet 
Yeah, you, you can you can domino just a bunch of trees together, and it's kind of it's kind of satisfying to just watch like a big chunk of forest just all fall down. You have to be careful though, because the trees can and will just fall on you and do the same thing that <laughs> do damage to you. Once you have a bit more armor though, the trees aren't as scary. When did that happen? This is like another log in the forest. It might have been from one of the last times I was dealing with a troll and I just kind of drug him through the forest and they were just smashing trees and shit. Because I don't remember knocking this one down. Oh yeah, it's a whole tree. It, it might have been from when uh, a troll was through here. Oh, excuse me. It's a little dark, but we're almost done getting a little bit more wood for this. Oh yeah, here's a stump here that was just kind of hanging out. So yeah, it's probably from a troll. Somebody, there's a gray dwarf. They're just kind of, they're kind of annoying, but not really super dangerous at this point because we've got we've got some troll armor. We've got a bronze axe. We can kind of fight off, find them off now. And this little grayling is just one of the starter biome enemies. Come here, stinky. The only good thing about these these gray dwarves is they drop wood and stone when you kill them. So over time, you just kind of get more wood and stone. They're still annoying though. <laughs> yeah, the only downside of using the cart to haul a bunch of stuff around with is that it's uh. A troll, he's just like me. <laughs> he's just like me for real. Stinky. <laughs> Let's grab all this wood. You are carrying too much. That's fine. We'll just sweat while walking into the house. Drop off the wood. I'm just going to keep piling wood in here. I don't know how much exactly I need to do this thingy with, but... It's never a bad idea having more stuff than you need. Uh, trophies in here. Like, like you, over over the time of just fighting these gray dwarves and the little graylings and stuff, you get like way too much of this uh, resin and these gray dwarf eyes. So I have like a special just overflow chest for them. That's probably not even going to be enough because there's just way too many. Okay, let's go back to our little bedroom here and we'll take a sleep. Ugh. Alrighty. Alright, these should almost certainly be done now. These uh, seed carrots. Yeah, it looks like they are. So we've got like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. We have like 18 uh, seed carrots here. So that should we leave us with like a good amount of seeds. Like 40 something. I, didn't, I can't do the quick maths right now because... Oh wait, a little more than I thought. 54. Okay, so that's 54 carrots that we can now plant, <laughs> which is nice. I might end up moving these boars out of this area real quick so I can try to flatten the earth. Because being on this little pedestal is cool and all, but I mean, this might not be a permanent base anyway, so I don't think I'm going to go that fucking hard on trying to do things. Some more honey. 
Well, beehives are the. Let's collect our honey from the bees. The bees are happy! <laughs> we also have uh, some boars in here as well, just for backup, in case something terribly wrong goes on over here. It's probably the smartest thing I've ever done, is just make like two different sets of boars when it comes to it. Let's go get some of the let's go get some of our wood. So we can start just planning on how this is gonna go. I mean I have an idea in my head, because I mean there's like a certain way you do this. I've done it in my offline file. The bees are happy. <laughs> yeah, it's I, I love that. It's a very like meme kind of like thing. It's like, are the bees happy? <laughs> are any of us happy? <laughs> If the bees are happy, why aren't why aren't you? <laughs> Alright, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's not an it's an odd number if you have this not here, but I like this little fence here so I can keep the boars within their own little zone. <clears throat> okay, so we've got Where'd that even go? Is it like... Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. So we're gonna have the the middle of the, the platform is gonna be there. I don't need this little guy for this. So that's gonna be there. Right here. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're we're, we're, make, we're getting ready to make the fucking boar zone. Like, like, yeah, it's about to be nutty. Okay, so let's get. We need some. We need some core wood now, which comes from pine trees. I have some of it, so we shouldn't need to worry too hard, too much about it. Something I need to check for though before we get too carried away is um, we are going to want at least uh, four of these four great uh, certling cores, and I don't think I have any more because I think I found just enough to uh, make these two. Which I mean I could sacrifice. Where did you? Why are you out here? You know what? Whatever. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're going to need some more certling cores so that we can, um, make portals. You! Hello, Neki. Good morning, my friend. <laughs> Hopefully you're doing well. Oh, I need to plant these carrots before we go running off and around the forest, because these carrots are going to be very good for breeding the boars with. When the time comes, so we uh, we we need more. So let's go ahead and we'll line ourselves up. And oh, I ran out of I ran out of stamina. Bear digging up, putting down carrots. Uh, let's, how many we got left? 30. Oh, right now, Sam, I have only like one more to plant anyway. Let's see, you have enough... Room, okay. I don't think these dandelions affect the uh, carrot grow area, which is nice because these you can't really remove these spawns. You can pick them, but you can't like remove them. But that's fine. So now we've got like uh, 50 something carrots planted. So those are kind of those are just gonna grow on their own without us really doing anything, which is nice. 
that you don't have to like babysit your fucking carrots. They're not babies after all. Let us get together some stuff to make some more of these fire arrows because they are very nice for uh, defending yourselves against uh, trolls and such. <laughs> uh, what we got? Probably end up getting some more wood while we're just kind of going around anyway, like just destroying various uh, tree trunks and stuff because they're just easy to access. But how are you doing this morning, Neki? Hope you are well. Uh, where was it? Oh, I guess I can put the extra arrows in here. Put our craft and junk back. All right. Eat our deer meat, get our health back up a little bit, and let's go ahead and if we go down the hill here. I like how bendy that tree is. <laughs> That's silly. I almost just jumped, stepped right off that cliff there. Yeah, these assholes. Will they? Will they use the bridge that I made? Apparently not, or they probably would try to, but it might not be. Oh, no, that one's kind of on it. Y'all gonna use the bridge like proper little tree men? No? Alright, whatever. <laughs> later, later, nerds. <laughs> Midweek day off is no longer called Wednesday. Nay, it is hope day. Oh, feel that. Feel that. Well, thanks for spending part of that with me. That's really sweet of you. We are playing Valheim, which is my new Wednesday game. We are on the hunt for some dungeons to go through because we need to get some more items from them. Ooh, I see. Hmm. Have I... I've probably been through this one since, uh... I've probably been through this one since it's kind of like an unexplored part of the map, but... I have a feeling I have definitely been through this one. I'm gonna look- we'll look through here anyway. Oop. It's okay, game. I'm just gonna take a quick peek in here. It's very dark, and I apologize for that. I should, I'll make a torch for the next one. Oh, yeah. I've, uh, we're going to say I've been through this one because I don't hear any rattlings of skeletons, which means that they're. I probably killed them all. Or about as much as you can really kill a skeleton, I guess. But, you know, words, semantics, etc., etc., etc. Let's break this campfire. And we'll get some more wood from. Here. I mean, the skeletons around the dungeon respawned, it looks like, but that doesn't really do much for us other than. Well, not much. <laughs> so we'll say. Alright. I like to mark the dungeons with, like, this weird thing. I'm, I'm, I'm suspecting it's meant to be, like, <laughs> we're gonna re dead these motherfuckers. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I suspect that little icon is meant to be, like, a portal. But it looks like different enough to where I'm like, oh, that's what I'm gonna use for dungeons. So I can mark which ones I've been to and which ones I've done, because you can click a marker you put on the map to give it a little re uh, red X. Dear. Hmm, I should probably start marking stuff like these thistles. Because the, the, these little spots on the map respawn over time, and these resources are actually pretty handy to uh, have. For future, um, for just future crafting, we can't use much, can't use too much of it yet, but we, eventually we will. Let's get a little bit more wood, just because it's gonna be useful to have. Let's kind of look around. 
Now, we haven't been over to that part of the Black Forest yet. Let's keep looking around here. What do we have here? Is this just going to be a bunch of gray dwarves bothering me? Uh, I've already been to this one. There's this little bench here, and the, the, the barrel's empty, and that's empty. Yeah, I've already been to this one. Well. Uh, another thistle patch. I mark these almost every single time I find them because they don't they grow very sporadically. And when you and when you need them and you don't have them, you're gonna wish you had been marking them. Oh wow, there's another one. There's two of these uh, spawner things pretty close to each other. These things, those things spawn the uh, gray dwarf monsters. Now they kind of spawn on their own, but these things just kind of spawn them too, and they're they're not fun. But you can you can use them like you know how like in Minecraft there's like the spawners you can use for like zombies or whatever. You can kind of do a similar thing in this game too, because they'll like within certain parameters they'll just keep spawning uh, gray dwarves. I just gotta figure out how I'm getting over there. I don't want to swim because I probably don't have enough stamina for that. Hmm. Um. How deep is this water? What we can do is we can take our hoe and start just kind of leveling the ground out to as far as it'll let us level it out to, and then that'll give us at least a little bit more uh, room. Now we're technically standing on this rock so we can get some stamina back, I guess. Not ideal, I'll tell you that, but... Oh, there's some rocks there. Maybe we could, like, build a little bridge on top of the rocks or something. That could be that could be fun. But I don't want to be... Well, I don't know if I'm close and... Ooh. Yeah, we, yeah. if we want to stop to rest on that rock, we would have not made it across without starting to drown. Because... <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's a little closer than I'd like to be, but I want these. I want to mark these thistles because that's a good amount of them. No, we need this wood anyway. Yeah, see, you can see the radar is already spawning over there. They're not hard to kill, so it's not the the worst. Especially with our having a bronze axe, that's more than adequate for for killing them. Yeah, let's uh, mark this. And yeah, there's three thistles here. That's a pretty good patch. Usually you only find like one or two per little patch. All right, let's get away from that spawner, or at least farther away from the spawner. It's, we're probably still too close to it anyway, but whatever. Let's mark this one too. Oh, hey, it's the brute. These are the, the the stronger ones. He's not really acting like it right now. Now these are ones you want to definitely block. Otherwise, they'll do pretty good damage to you. even with uh, the armor I have. They'll just kind of beat you up a little bit. Okay, I marked this one. Give him a good parry. Oh, come on, really? You can, you can parry projectiles, too. <laughs> Which is just kind of funny to me. You, like, parry their rock, and then they're, like, staggered, and then you can run up and just chop them for the backstab damage. Yeah. Just do really quick, short... Alright, well, we're getting away from this freaking spawner now. Oh, there's copper here. Yeah, they just kind of spawn out in the fucking woods. It's kind of obnoxious. They're not hard to, to defeat in the slightest, but... 
they're using up precious durability that, uh, for my axe that I was wanting to use for, I don't know, anything else. <laughs> Alright. And I use this little, little Mjolnir thingy for mines, because there's a copper no node underneath my feet. Some, some blurbs here. Some more carrot seeds if we were if we wanted them. Uh, from a distance you can kind of see like this blue mist that sometimes, well, this is not exactly blue, but like it'd probably be a little easier to illustrate if we like see it off in the distance. You'd like blue mist. It's kind of like where uh, POIs tend to be, which a lot of games. Nowadays, a lot of these kind of survival games use like POIs, where it's like pre-generated kind of like structures and such, and such. And this game is no different. All right, more thistles. We're finding a lot of them in this chunk of woods here, which is never a bad thing. Use them to later on make sausages, and you can use it to make a uh, poison resistance meads, which are very important for the swamp. Which not happening in this stream, but. In the future, it will be. But yeah, I'm looking for more uh, dungeons. Like that one, similar to that one where that we went into real quick. I'm frankly surprised I haven't found more of them. They're not s meant to be super rare. Is this one of them? No, this is just like a little, little shrine or whatever. I would need to eat some food. Your health and stamina directly determined is determined by your food choices. And different foods do different things, so it pays to uh, know what you want for what task and how to get it and all that. Well, there's a deer. Kablam. Look at all that junk. Looks like the black forest biome turns back to meadows over there. We'll just kind of poke around. There's a lot of rivers in this biome over here, unfortunately, which means there's less, just less spawning area for like these dungeons or whatever. It's pretty unfortunate. It does mean there's a lot of tin around because the tin spawns on like kind of like the coast of the black forest. Oh, there's copper here too. That's pretty good. Uh, might as well mark it, I guess. I probably could mark like copper as like CU or CP or something, but maybe not CP. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, this is like kind of like, like a little ruined village. We're gonna very likely. Uh... Well, we're gonna mark this on our on the map before we do anything. This is our uh, base, but we're gonna make like a, a little a quick little bed area here. And to sleep through the night just to not deal with enemies. Also, partly partly why I was just kind of grabbing trees and wood and all that. I don't need to fix it up, but I tend to like doing that. Just oh no. I live. Good morning, Cloudy. How are you doing, my friend? Oh, I didn't mean to destroy that. My brain was on in autopilot. Um, uh, do you mind? I mean, it's not really my house, but this was someone's house. I'm pretty sure they don't want rocks thrown at it. Sleepy. Yeah, I feel you there. It was a bit of a sleepy morning. Still kind of is a sleepy morning. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll roof this fucking thing. Yeah, we got the wood to do it. Okay, let's make a fire here. Now, proper ventilation of your fires is very important because you can and will fill your structure with fucking smoke. And then... 
you, then it's just like midsummer. You'll just die of carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> so we're gonna give this little little hut here. Just a little roof like that. It's, it looks silly, but it, it gets the job done. And we'll just... This, is, this isn't like our, gonna be our house. This is just kind of like a, a little place to, to rest when we're on like this side of the river over here. Because this is our main house. <laughs> okay, and then we need to make our bed. I think feel like we have just enough stuff for. All right, fuckers. Cha. All right, time for us to be sleepy. Honk shoe, me me me. I'll probably mark this place on the map as like kind of like a little campsite. Just so I can kind of know, oh, if I'm in the area, like, wandering around doing stuff, I need to sleep, I can just kind of come to this little area. <clears throat> cool. Oh, it's rainy. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> <clears throat> Like, this game isn't, like, super high poly count, but this the, the aesthetic and, like, just, like, the atmosphere is really good. Sitting here worrying about, oh, where am I gonna get stones? And the answer is all these annoying ass gray dwarves. Because <laughs> they're just all over the place. Now, this little this structure is cool. Rocks! More rocks! Oh, oh hello! It's a big one! The big old boy! Yeah, big old. I like how they have little dandelions on their heads. It's kind of cute. I don't need the dandelions right now, so we're gonna just leave those. <sighs> I've got to be mindful of, since this is kind of like a new area I'm exploring on the map. I have to be mindful of trolls because they're not impossible to kill. I mean, I'm wearing troll leather, but they're. That you have to give them, at least this early in the game, you have to give them respect or they will kill you horribly. Don't feed them. No, don't want to do that either. Uh, there's just everything I don't want right now. Like that tower over there with the... Uh, uh, is there anything in this tower? I just kind of went in here and fought the giant uh, tree dude. Let's kind of double check. Oh. Mm, nope, doesn't look like there's anything in here. That's fine. Nope. This, the tiniest little fucking brick. <laughs> Alright, let's head back this I'm just trying to I'm trying to find these dungeons so we can get some items certain items that we need to make portals because one of the things I want to do today that's in the stream title require well it doesn't require portals but it's very recommended to have a portal like a portal set so that you can easily access your uh, your farm that you know you're uh, we're gonna be making and I kind of forgot we didn't have something we needed so we're kind of having to go try to find it now right 
more thistles. I just mark those as that. We'll just grab those while we're at it. Oh, is this like the end of this uh, biome on the side of the river? Well, that's unfortunate. I kind of put a lot of effort into uh, getting over here. I mean, not a lot of effort, but I put a, like enough of it to, for it to be annoying. All right, we're going to run very quickly by this, because this is a spawner for those dudes. And yeah, we don't want to deal with that many of them. Oh, look, there's more of them. <laughs> Oh, jeez. There's like, gonna be like 10 little dudes throwing rocks at me now. Plus the poison dude, the guy with the green eyes can do poison, which is not fun. There's so many of them, Jesus Christ. Thankfully, they're not very hard, but... Just gotta become a just you have to be, just become a lawnmower, I guess. <laughs> that would have been a little scarier if I didn't have uh, this bronze axe just just cuts through these guys pretty easily. Otherwise, yeah, that would have been uh, not ideal to fight that many of them at once. <laughs> All right, what do we got over here? Is there like more area I haven't explored? Looks like it. Let's see. Let's see what we find. There's that thing. We're gonna just kind of steer clear of it. Seagull that flew away. Don't really need them right now. We got plenty of feathers already as it is. Because inexplicably, one of the one of the common loots from these dungeons I'm trying to find are just feathers. I don't, don't really know why, but. Okay, we already found where the elder is. That's where the second boss, because there's like some so many bosses you're, you're like meant to kill for progression in this game. And the second boss, their spawn point is over there. I was excited because I saw that glowing thing, which is a Vegvasir, that shows you where the boss li uh, spawns at. Or where you summon them, rather. Oh, there's more, more of these assholes. <laughs> more of these just little tree dudes. This, this fucking rain is not making things easier because when you're wet, you regener regenerate less stamina. Okay, yep, that's the same location. That's kind of what I was expecting. We'll destroy this barrel, though. Get some blurbs. Some other stuff from here, too. Now let's mark this patch of thistles because these would be nice to have access to in the future because they, they'll, re they'll regrow eventually on their own mineral balls woo! <laughs> are you enjoying some mineral balls of your own Let all who read me beware the gray dwarves. Skulkers in darkness, the soulless ones. They are born from rotten rainfall. They spring like mushrooms from the smoking soil. There's nothing on their tongues or behind their eyes. Those who fear nothing should still fear them. When the soul of a murderer or a great sinner rots under the ground, it makes a hollow cyst which draws rock and wood and moss to it. It gathers up the peat into flesh, braids reeds into bone, and takes rags for skin. It should not walk, but when the night comes, it walks. Should you who read this see one with the sword in your hand, a lance it and let it out, or put it to the torch, for it fears the flame. This game's awesome. Uh, well, seems like coming over here was a bust. I have not seen a single dungeon yet. It happens. These worlds are generated kind of like with seeds, like Minecraft worlds are, so like... Yeah, it's you're not guaranteed to find everything everywhere like you would like. And then again, it's very possible I like missed one because I was just kind of like scooting around. Although it's not a very big biome piece. Oh, excuse you, I'm trying to monologue here. <laughs> the asshole. 
<laughs> Can you not? Well, maybe not monologue. Maybe monologue is not the right word because I'm not like talking strictly to myself for once. How much weight do we have? We might be able to mine uh, one of these t t tins to take back to base. So getting back across this river is going to be our, uh, our, our main uh, objective. Hmm. I mean, I can swim it or try. That's probably what we'll end up doing. But I'm just trying to figure out the best path. Perhaps going over to where this little rock is sticking out would be a, a good idea. Yeah, we're gonna just do that. I think it was over here. Kind of hard, kind of hard to see what the waves like making the water rise and fall quite like this because it's raining, but. Then we can stay and recover our stamina and then swim across the rest of the way. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I was expecting it to be worse, <laughs> honestly. Mushrooms. This is like a little empty peninsula, it looks like. Oh, there's a troll over there. Let's get rid of these guys before we deal with the troll, because, yeah. I do want to fight the troll, because, ah, oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, we've got uh, these guys with their spawn point nearby. Let's uh, get a little further away. Ah, you poison me, shit ass. Come here. Good timing, the rain's about to end, which is good. Hopefully we can dry off. Let's try to get a good shot between the trees. Ooh, hit him. <laughs> He's, I don't know if he like, noticed me shooting him, so let's, uh, yeah, we'll just shoot him some more. <laughs> He's just like, what? Why is it suddenly real warm in here? I think he realized that something's shooting at him now. Yep, definitely. Right in the right in the schnoz. I missed completely. <laughs> what what are you doing? Where are you going? Yeah, whatever. Don't be grumpy. Where are you going? <laughs> He's like, fuck you, I'm going home. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> all right, I mean, all right, cool, whatever. If you're going to just like... <sighs> really? I got to lead, lead my shots a little, I guess. I don't know why he was just like avoiding coming over to see me. Oh, there's a big rock. Let's uh, not get stuck behind some trees. Yeah, we'll shoot him. We'll get a little distance. Cause yeah, they can, and we'll just crunch the fuck out of ya. It's him. All right, well, we got. <laughs> He's just hanging out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the big old dude. Hmm. 
No, oh, there's a troll. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the spawner up the hill right there. Let's uh just leave that alone. Some carrot seeds. We already got carrots. Going. And um, yeah, it is it's pretty cool. You just go poof. Yeah, that troll fight was really easy because I kind of got the jump on it in a big way. Like, I shot it from, like, a pretty good distance, got the sneak damage, and then it was just kind of sitting there for a bit. That's ideally how you want to deal with trolls early game is just shoot them from a distance and um, take advantage of the fact that they are just kind of thick and sometimes can't really fit through spaces. Ooh, there's some blueberries here. We should get these, too. Do I have space? I do have space. I'll market these two with uh, BB. Bloobs. <clears throat> kind of look at our surroundings a little bit. Seagulls like meow. I see that skeleton over there. Bloops. <laughs> all right, little, all right, little bony man. Let's go. They're they're weak to crush attacks and your fists are crush attacks so um, I might as well save some uh, some weapon durability by just punching them to death Let's see. I'm getting pretty unlucky on this uh, dungeon finding expedition. Like, I've not really. I don't think I've seen another one yet. Other than that one that I double checked that I had been through, which I had. Oh, there's another tr fucking troll. I almost ran right into it. <laughs> oh, well. It's just kind of standing there. I wonder if we could stay here long enough for it to like get our uh, our uh, what you call it back. Our sne no, it's probably gonna find us. Oh yeah, it's a surprise! Oh, <sighs> missed that shot. Cue the Benny Hill music of just running around a rock like Shoot him right in the mouth, as you do. Some as you as you do, you just kind of shoot. You shoot the trolls in the mouth. Oh. Yeah, we'll just get. We'll let them crunch the ground a little bit. It's fine. Let's kind of get to some more open ground. 
Oh, I missed the shot. I'm just gonna get him some get get him on fire a little bit. <clears throat> this is more typical of what a troll fight looks like, just like, scrambling around trying not to get smashed like a bug. Alright, he's dead though. These damn gray dwarves. <laughs> Always in your business. We'll scoop up all the delicious troll loot. And it looks like our inventory, our weight is full. Oh, uh, we're not that far from. There's a camp there. There's a camp here. Our base is just there. We're probably just gonna run to the base at this point. Hopefully, not find any more trolls because. I won't be able to carry their stuff unless they drop some other stuff. Let's not get stuck on the rock, please. <laughs> Ooh, more thistles, though. It's really easy to see thistles when it's like du like night, dusk, or dawn, or whatever. There's some more blueberries, though. Grab those. You can use those to make some different foods, too. Then we got thistles here. I just like, I mark them with that just because it kind of looks like thistle. Of course there's another one of these goddamn spawner things. Why wouldn't there be? It's not like I'm trying to go that way or anything. <laughs> oh whatever, I found some more thistles. I won't I won't bitch too loud. I mean I will, but <laughs> I'll at least be appreciative of finding that. Oh, Oh, looks like we found another dungeon. We're gonna go in here, mark it on the map, and then leave. Because I don't have the weight to carry the loot from here. Hit by! hell's going on over there my guess would be a uh, skeleton is just like running around killing boars <laughs> kind of hard to see Do you mind? <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a shitty spot to be in here. Maybe it's just this one gray dwarf that's having trouble getting out of the water. Let's get some of the stamina back and they'll just swim over here and they'll get away. For like the 10,000 gray dwarves that are just spawning everywhere because it's nighttime. Ah! Rude. I was swimming and they just like hit me with a rock and sent me back into the river. <clears throat> oh, come on, really? Is this necessary? <laughs> just like every boar and every stinky little lizard's like, we must fight you now. I'll punch all of you to death. I don't give a fuck. Come here. I almost killed that boar with my fists. Killed a lizard.
Now I'm still wet, but I'm also cold, so I'm regenerating stamina even regenerating, regenerating stamina even slower. So yeah, that was just kind of annoying, but whatever. Can't even pick up any of the stuff from them, so we're just gonna not. We at least know a clear thing to go after when it's not like, I don't know, midnight. <laughs> and I'm not like overweighed by stuff. <sighs> like just the sound of like 10,000 boars yelling in protest all at once. Oh, go away. I mean, I'm almost certain to find one more stone before we go to that place, but whatever. So let's fix up some of this stuff. We can upgrade our armor a little bit with these troll hides that we got. Okay, then it takes four for parts, so let's. I guess let's just grab the. Uh, I mean, I guess the helmet, sure, whatever. And let's put our let's put our clothes back on. <laughs> Sometimes you just get really excited about upgrading your stuff and then you just take your clothes off, I guess. It's like, "Whoa, I'm so excited." I can hardly I can hardly contain myself. <clears throat> Some more of those. We're just going to put stuff away. We got a lot of junk from that expedition. Uh, the sorting, it never ends. Uh, what chest do I have for treasures? There's my treasure chest. And this, ch this chest for all this extra overflow garbage is almost already full. <laughs> like I was expecting it to be. It just kind of fills up really quick. Uh, flint arrowheads. I want to say there's a chest around here for that stuff. Yeah, there is. Also grab those arrows out. Okay, we need that stuff. We got this stuff. Let's just. Eat some food. A rude dude. Yeah, they're, they're pretty rude. They're just throwing rocks. It was nice finding those trolls that let us upgrade all of our armor by a bit. Except for the cape, but the cape, when you upgrade it, doesn't give much more armor anyway, so it's not really worth your time upgrading it. Unless you have nothing else to upgrade, which we currently have other things to upgrade, so. Excuse me. Is there a great wolf over here? Or is it over here? Or did or did that great over just kill the the piggy that the pig that was like living out here? It might have. I don't even know. Kind of hard to tell. Anyway, one thing before I go though, I do want to see how much bronze it would take to upgrade my axe. Oh. Me, maybe like actually go inside my fucking house. Let's see. It would take four bronze. What do we have available to us? 
one bronze and now oh, we can smelt some tin. We have some. Should we have? We should have some. We have one. <laughs> Maybe I should have mined. Okay, we're gonna make a little bit of a pit stop after I fix my axe in case we find some things to fight. Because I want to upgrade my axe to give it more durability for fighting things. Because yeah, that's kind of my limiting factor right now. Is this axe is a little? It's 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 all right. Like that's a pretty good durability, but we could it could be better. And it doesn't not gonna take much effort for that to actually happen. So. We're gonna go across, we're gonna go down this side of this river. Hello, fish. It's like, you look like you're not really in the water there, buddy. Bare, bare knuckle boxing with gray dwarves. There you go. <laughs> it's just rolling down the hill. Oh, come on. Really? You're, you're not... You're... Yeah, well, we should be able to find ten along the coast of this... Uh little river here and if not it's because I probably already got all the tin from around here but there should still be some I would hope I don't think I really even mined all that much I know I mined some because I have some bronze as you can tell from my bronze axe but uh, there's some over there I see it that little silvery rock right there Let's see if there's some more on this side of the river, though. Okay, no, there's not any more. Probably not any more. Oh, uh, there's a bit more of Black Forest over here. So maybe there is just a little bit. Oh, yep, yeah, here's some. So let's get our, our antler pickaxe. Which you get, which you make from fighting the first boss, which is like this big deer dude. Pretty easy fight. Pretty cool boss, but it's pretty, pretty easy fight. Okay, that's 310. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Just out of curiosity, let's see if there's any, uh, because sometimes these, like, big logs and tr logs and tree stumps and stuff can conceal other things. Really. Now y'all do even less damage to me. Because each of these pieces of armor has, like, the two there. Two, four. We have, like, eight more armor than we did earlier because I upgraded those pieces of armor and they got, like, two more armor bonus, so... They're doing even less to me now. <laughs> um, there's probably not gonna be any more, um, tin on this side of the river. That's okay, we've got, like, seven, that's plenty. We'll go smelt that. And then we can combine that with some of the copper we have left over and... We'll upgrade our axe, and then we'll go to this dungeon, and explore. I'm thinking about it. Let's make a torch for that. Let me not get stuck on the tree. Ooh, what's... What is this? Oh! Nice little little cabin in here. Huh. Well, I guess I shouldn't have just made that torch because there's a free one. Oh, well. Excuse you. <laughs> this little dude's just like wobbling around. Oh! 
This is from when I was fighting a different troll. There's just there's just like tree pieces here. Oh. Can you not? I'm busy. Ooh, there's even a bit of a birch here. Let's cut you up. Birch, please. <laughs> oh. Choppity chop. Let's get her stamina back. I'll probably end up needing this wood for the uh, the boar tower anyway, so let's go ahead and just cut these trees. Oh, oh no. It, it appears I have made a mess. Or at least ma made the mess worse. <laughs> yeah, some the trees in this game have their own physics. I, I, I can roll this thing around and just kind of <laughs> just smash that little baby tree. Oh, well, I rolled that tree against other things and it shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, we still have some space, but wood very quickly t fills up your inventory space. I'll, I'll kind of, I'll remove these stumps though, just because they're kind of getting away and Stumbling through the woods at night and like almost tripping over a tree stump does not sound like very much fun. <laughs> oh, here's another fucking tree. <laughs> yeah, I think I found like a troll like near my base and I'd like lured it down here and it just started just destroying a bunch of trees. The advantage of that is I can now just go back and clean them up and get wood from it, but. Was a little sketchy. Uh, let's grab another like. We're grabbing like this amount of wood for a very specific reason. Uh, I know I had some fine wood stored away for other specific reasons. And we're grabbing that much wood so that when we get to the dungeon, we can make a fire inside. Let's see. 810. We, we should have more than enough coal. Getting the coal early game like for the smelting stuff is uh, tedious. Not impossible, but like it, you, just, you have to actually just make it yourself. And it's not super... It's not hard, but it's you, just, you have to like kind of actually do it. <laughs> Gotta do it. Just, just do it. Oh, there's a gray dwarf throwing rocks outside. Of course, there fucking is. And I just cleaned up my inventory too. Where are you? He got his juices everywhere. Oh no. Put those back. Put those juices back. Let's get specifically five. Another gray dwarf's outside. Uh, somewhere. Oh. Come here. You know what? Whatever. I'm, not, I'm I'm done just emptying my inventory because one gray dwarf decides it wants to spawn and start attacking my workbenches. Rude ass. <clears throat> okay, we need like one more tin ingot. Or is it a bar in this game? Okay, it's bars in this game. Like a lot of these like games like this use bar and ingot kind of like interchangeably.
Okay, and we'll smash copper and tin together. Just like real life. Then we need a leather scrap, and then we can upgrade our axe, and then we can go to that dungeon. That axe upgrade will give it, uh, let's see, 50 more durability, which is actually pretty good. It's like 25 more gray dwarves that can kill. Because <laughs> I, I usually two shot those. Let's check our carrots real quick before we go. Well, one of them looks like it's done. It's a very enthusiastic carrot. Uh, it should, they should be done before long, and then we can replant. We can replant a good amount of them for um, more seeds. All right, where was that dungeon at? This way, we can take our bridge and then that we made last stream and. Okay, we can't eat any more of that stuff. I made this little, I had fully intended to make, have it to where we could use this to get up the hill pretty easily. This area is a little scuffed still. Uh, let's see. There we go. Made this little bridge last stream. You can look at all the stupid fish. You just just sitting there. All right, let's climb up this way. This is kind of an, an annoying climb. Pretty high up, honestly. Some carrot seeds. Don't I don't care it. <clears throat> some thistles here we're gonna mark the you hear the weird music something's near must be nearby we'll, we'll, we'll investigate after I mark this on the map I just don't really know what is nearby Whatever is, it's like near this area. Huh. Oh, it's probably this. This is still the. Okay, whatever. Cool, thanks. <laughs> hey, we marked some thistles at least. That's kind of good. There's more stuff up here. Lucky deer, I missed ya. Oh. Oh, there's like a whole clown car of you in that little fucking house. Jeez. I'd say that's probably a proper measurement unit for a fucking bunch of gray dwarves. Is a, a clown called a clown car. <laughs> You're just gonna, if you're just gonna stand there, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. <laughs> Ooh, feathers. That's like similar loot to what we'll find in the dungeon. Get wrecked! Hello, Ash. Good morning. Thanks for stopping in. There's a bunch of thistles here. Let's mark those on our map. There's a blueberry. Oh, there's more blueberries. Good. Mark those too. Don't click that game. Rude.
kind of exploring this uh, map chunk here. Pretty high up, but it's still considered Black Forest. There's a lot of thistles on top of this hill. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'll take them all. They'll regrow eventually, and we'll, we'll, we'll need them. Come here, stinky. Googly Gaga 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 We'll mark it. Kind of exploring this area up here because it's not uncovered on the map. So as I was trying to, what I was trying to say and talking about earlier is like you see like that distinctively like blue mist off in the distance. That's like a POI kind of area. So if you're if you're kind of not necessarily the word's not really cautious, but if you're just kind of like exploring around, you can tend to see those. There's coppers, a troll cave. There's probably a troll inside, but I'm not really that worried about that. Control can stay inside. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's great. That does sound pretty amusing. More fucking gray dwarves. Or gray dwarf, rather. Carrot seed, don't care. And then there's this dungeon I stumbled across, like, in the middle of the night. Like, on accident. We want to come in here. All right, and we'll put down a campfire in here. Not only lights it up, but it'll let us get a rested bonus that we currently don't have. So we'll just sit, we'll just sit down. Does it, do you mind? Punk ass. All right, where was I? Taking a taking a, taking a little bit of a rest. <laughs> I don't think I have to sit down indoors like this if you see like the shelter thing up there. I don't think I have to sit down to get the rested bonus, but nah. Might as well just kind of relax. Alright, cool. Our hope is to get at least four of the Sertling cores from this dungeon. Ooh. Don't really find rooms like this too often. That's kind of cool. Oh, hello, ghost. You're not very scary anymore because I have armor, but... It's fine. Anything over here? No, just kind of a way to get down. <laughs> Majula theme. <laughs> Let's see what we got in here. Some uh, amber. Amber, I barely even know her. Let's 
Oh, here's one. So this, 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 these are the things we're looking for. We need four of them so we can make two portals. Because you want you want to have you want to place one on the top of the boar tower, and then have one down below so you can get up there easily to um, refuel refill <laughs> refuel refill the um, the food for the boars to eat. So they'll just keep making boars. It's the circle of life. Let's see what's down this way. Another door. A little treasure room, kind of. Not one of the good treasure rooms, but a treasure room nonetheless. That's okay, there should be more rooms in this dungeon that I can go through. Because that, that side's clear, there's a side there and a side here. Okay, that's empty. There's another one, nice. Well, that's half of what we need. Hopefully, it's all like just like every. Hopefully, all the fun stuff is just concentrated in like one part of this dungeon because it sounds like it's probably going to be the case. It's probably going to be like 10 skeletons. Oh, hello! <laughs> There's like half the skeletons in the entire dungeon just in this one like corridor. <laughs> Oh, I hope there's more to this than this, because this is otherwise going to be a little lackluster. Oh, hello. That's a rare mob in here. So, ooh, you're a one star, too. That's dangerous. Woo! Owie. Yeah, that's not the thing you want to find early game when trying to clear out one of these is Rancid Remains, let alone one with the star count. Oof. Good thing I was geared up a little bit. Alright. So this these are the kind of rooms you like to find. They have a... Did my, oh, my torch broke because I think I blocked with it and the freaking skeleton's like, yeah, no, we're not dealing with this. Some amber. Some amber pearls. Some coins. Some other amber, it looks like. All right, well, we got five cores of that. That's not the worst. That's enough. That's all we need. I need. I needed four, and we got five, so I can't really complain. All right, well, this dungeon is done. We'll break our campfire to get the stones back, and we'll just uh, leave. How's our weight looking? And we could probably like, explore around and try to find another one. Up. Oh. Wakey wakey. Up. Oh. <laughs> they pushed me back into the burial chamber. They're not very scary. Especially if I had like a mace and not like an axe fighting them, they would be a l even less threatening. Well, that's all we need dungeon wise, so I think we'll just kind of go home now. Kind of grab all this stuff from whatever happened last time. Can you not? I didn't even see where the boar was. <laughs> it is so damn dark. It's a good thing I kind of know where I'm going. Yeah, like the atmosphere in this game is amazing. Uh, let's jump.
through the forest in the middle of the night. Hopefully I don't st stumble over any tree stumps. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I count the deer just like yelling. There's one like to the left of me over there. Can you not? Make me. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Sure, we had like a torch somewhere just to kind of have a little bit more light. What are you doing? These workbenches out here are supposed to reduce spawns, but they seem to be spawning and then running to fight the workbenches, so I don't know if it's really that effective. Anyway. Sleepy. Okay, let's, let's unload our garbage. Just out of curiosity, let me make sure I don't have any certain cores anywhere else. Doesn't look like it, okay, that's fine. We'll leave the extra one in here. We need 40 fine wood. And then we'll need to grab out. Oh, this, this chest is almost full of stones, Jesus. Uh, and then we'll have to grab out some more great dwarf eyes. Because this is one, these portals are one of the first things that can actually use Greydorf eyes for. Uh, should be 20, because I think each portal takes 10. One of the first real tangible uses for the damn things. Trophies. Grab all this wood out and we'll take it to our cart out here. We can use it as a bit kind of like a mobile chest. Since, well, you can store things in it. We'll store that stuff too. You can store things in it and you, but you can, you know, move it around. Get some more honey. The bees are happy. <laughs> and I can just put this stuff away because I have to go in to get the core wood I need anyway, so. Okay, and then up in here. Like, we got way too much of this resin. Eventually, there's stuff, something you can do with a bunch of, like, excess items like this, but we don't have the tech for that yet. Where? You didn't even hit me. Get good. <laughs> Speaking of get good, let's get uh, the core wood out. All 
All right, that should be all we really... You don't really need that much to make this boar tower thing a reality. You just kind of need... You need patience, though. Because, my God, these great wars won't fucking... That is the worst thing about building, like, where I did, because we're, we're near enough to the Black Forest where... It spawns mostly gray dwarves. So at some point we might end up making a base like somewhere over here maybe. Closer to this like closer to the uh, the shore not in this biome. So maybe like right there actually. Because we can just like take our stuff and move it especially since we have you know a cart. So it wouldn't be that bad to move house at some point, but at least for when I built this, this is kind of like an ideal location because we're like right next to some ore and stuff. That's not the right thing. Uh, you go in here. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So these could be these four meter poles. Let's get out some more other wood too so we can, we're going to want to try to reposition these uh, boars into a more convenient location. So let's grab up that, just going to put that in there. I don't feel like going inside to put stuff away again every five seconds that a great dwarf decides it wants to die. Any of y'all want to uh, go in there? Come on, it's fun. It's lots of fun. I know, I know you want. You know you want to. I mostly just need them to like kind of be clustered in one area so I can. Uh, better work on this because this this bar is the center so we need to figure out the center of this one two three four one two three four one two so right here so that's where that pole is gonna go and then we're gonna build two more up jeez which is going to be fucking tedious, but well, that's part. It's worth it in the end because once you get this set up and keep it protected, like you just can basically make as many boars as you want. <laughs> More boars than your body has room for. So let's go ahead and we can do this to kind of get up here a little easier. Let's see. Got one, two, and then. Go. That's the height we need. I. Uh, for Sandy's sake, we're going to uh, build some more supports <laughs> for for this crap than what just one because I do not want this thing to like fall over just because some one support happens to get broke by some jerk uh, we need a good thing we need a good excuse to use some more of this uh, core wood anyway so all right cool wait no not cool there we go. <laughs> now I'll tell you now, I did not come up with like the design or concept of this myself. 
Let's, uh, we need, we need to get more, um, up. We're, we're gonna build another bit of ladder on the side so we can more easily, uh, see what we're doing. Plus, you can just break this stuff again and get just all the stuff back anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not a fan of heights, so this is a little uh, not ideal, but, you know, you, you kind of do what you kind of do. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, come on, don't, come on, just, you know, there we go. I'm gonna place this like this so we can kind of get out here to hit the snapping point, there we go. It's gonna be our way of getting up here to start building the stuff. Is this monstrosity? Perhaps I shouldn't build it because we're gonna be stuff like on top of this, so we're gonna probably want to build this uh, a little farther away from the pole there. I mean, we could do this to give it uh, stability yeah that's smart that's that's like actual sound engineering advice in like real life it's like oh hey you might want to support your structure <laughs> it, it's fine it's red but it's it's fine no biggie Oh, oh, fuck. Ah! <laughs> if, I had, if I had a little less health, I would have just killed myself <laughs> from the fucking <laughs> falling from the ladder there. I am my own worst enemy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, let's go inside and get our rested back up and now and being in shelter heals you faster anyway, so <laughs> let's uh, jeez. Kind of stay here for a second. I'll drink some coffee while we're at it. There we go. Our HP is more uh, has recovered from my goofy fall. Let's get up here. Let's be a little smarter this time and like I don't know maybe build like a floor here instead. Y yeah, you know, yeah. Come on, let me s Blocked. <laughs> well, that makes it a little more stable up here, which is good. I don't know if it actually is doing anything. I mean, it might be doing something. Eh, not really. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna want to, uh... Something like... I'm gonna fall. I can just... I can already see it. I'm gonna fall again. 
Come, there we go. Wait, no, I, I want to be doing it, um... Nope. <laughs> Not that one, this one. Okay... I think I want to be doing it. I'm gonna. I'm vaguely kind of going over how it was done in the video I watched like a week weeks ago, and then I made this thing myself. So we're, it's not gonna be. It, it, it's gonna have to be like kind of close to how it's supposed to be, you know. But okay, this stuff should still be stable enough to survive. Part of me wants to add another beam, but I don't know if that's really going to fucking do anything. Well, uh, let's kind of see down here how things are looking. Uh, can we do something like that? Does that help any? Huh? Not really. Kind of, but not really. You know, it's probably something, I think. <laughs> nah, not really. It's not really doing much. Mm. We might actually want to move this little little bucket area. Like this thing. We want to move this a little further out anyway. Because then we could support it all a little bit more easily. So, yeah. We'll do the... We'll just break that. Alright, let's go, we'll go down and just slide gently off the stairs. Whee! this now yeah this is a little bit slightly more supported now that it's uh like that and this leaves us a nice area up here we can put our portal which I don't have the stuff on me but we can go grab that real quick to put it down the other thing we're gonna have to do is build a ramp to get the boars up here <laughs> so that's gonna be fun that's the other half of the battle, is just getting the boars up here. Now we're thinking what we are. We are thinking of portals, because we're going we, we're gonna to want portals to get back up here. <laughs> I love how we just like slid down these stairs at like high speeds, and then took a bunch of fall damage. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't think it fall stuff would work like that, but it, it sure does. How the honey go? How the carrots doing? I kind of forgot about them, which is unfortunate. But oh, it's okay. Carrots should be like fifty-four carrots or so. And then some of these we're gonna. Actually, I think all of them we're just going to replant as seeds because we're not like really even uh, 
Uh, we'll keep like 10 for boar breeding, I guess. That should be plenty to get a bunch of boars made. Yeah, we want to replant a good portion of these as seed carrots so that we can get more seeds to make more carrots. Kakarot. Get our little, our little cultivator. It's like a little, little pitchfork, a little diggy pitchfork. Fix our shit. Oh, and of course, now it's freaking dark, so it's gonna be in. Eh, it's not gonna be impossible to plant these, but it is dark. All right, so let's see. seed carrots. Let's pick a nice spot to start. Uh, let me see. I think I said I was going to keep like 10. So let's get like 10 of these specifically and we'll just kind of put them there and just throw them on the ground. Alright. So we used up all the other carrots, and then we should have ten left that we can use for breeding the boars when the time comes. Okay, perfect. Those are those are going. So it's dark now, of course, but we don't really need the light to uh, the sunlight to put together a portal. I mean, I might as well actually just grab all of it. Yeah, because we can set up the portal down here that's going to just kind of stay down here. Like, in this area. Like, we'll probably just put it, like, here. Let me see. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there's, like, a, a portion that will light up with the runes and stuff whenever it's uh, valid. Uh, oh, yep. Okay, so portal here. Hel hello, hello, Hoogan. You're in the wall, buddy. I bring tidings. Portals are great for fast travel between different parts of the world. Yep. Okay, this one's gonna be boar. <laughs> Fucking SpongeBob text. Boars! Boars. Just, why not? And then we'll go up top and set the other one up where I'm gonna have it. Come on, trying very careful not to like fall again, because while very funny, um, I don't want to just, I don't want to like die because of my own fucking hand. Okay, we're gonna just, uh, oh, I was kind of absent-mindedly building things. Um, we are going to build one of these, just like kind of a railings right here, because that's gonna be a permanent part of the structure. Uh, technically, we're gonna have something here to. Oh, that's awkward. I forget. I forgot about that because it's like half a block out over the the just the thing, so it's not gonna be perfect. Well, that's gonna bother me. Oh well. <laughs> Don't really need this, but yeah, we'll leave it alone for now. I want this one though because we're gonna be like walking through a portal, and you, you don't want to, like, I mean, you probably won't end up walking, like, off and into the, just nothing, but, all right, uh, that should be fine, and we should be able to do bores, and give it a sec, and it lights up, all cool, like, the other one's lit up down there, but it's not like lit up. Like, you can see all the runes are lit up because it's active, and then we can just walk through this.
and it'll drop us off right here. So now we can get rid of these ladders because we can get up there without that, but we're going to do that when it's light out so I can see what I'm doing. And so that you can see what I'm doing because it's probably hard to see anything because <laughs> it's nighttime. Like, even now it's easier to see what's going on than what it was, so. Nice. It's down here. Oh, what? <laughs> what, what do I expect to be down here at the bottom of something I'm haphazardly building, just floating in the air? I mean, it's not floating. It's, it's supported. Just very precariously. <laughs> okay, so we can start just destroying stuff. Actually, before we do that, we are going to probably need a bit more core wood because we're going to have to build like a, a ramp going from there down to the ground so that we can uh, get the boars up there and those things. Because those, those little sockets are where the boars are going to sit. <clears throat> and when they breed, the babies will just kind of get, get shot out of the hole there. <laughs> and then once they breed, I think like every 30 seconds they check see if they're eligible to breed. And so after they breed, they'll probably very quickly start trying to do it again. And... It takes like a minute of pregnancy before they give birth. What they they'll give birth to another little piglet, and they'll just keep making it happen. <laughs> Let's see, is this just fir trees over here? I need a I need a singular pine tree. Fur. And there's just shit everywhere. There's fur. Damn furries. Get out of my way, log. Well, there's not any here, so we'll have to go further into the forest. You could eat another bite. I, I could, couldn't I? You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Fucking... You could eat some more food. No, really? More f fucking furs. Get out of my way. That's gotta kinda get rid of these like extra chunks of like stumps and stuff around your base if you're basing in this area, which I mean, it's not the worst place to make a base, but it's not the best either because of all the damn gray dwarves. Oh, would you look at that? Gray dwarves. Just just who I was fucking talking about. Break the stump, get it out of the way. And then we'll break this, and it'll get us some more core wood. And of course you fell into the river, why wouldn't you? Thankfully wood floats, so you can just kinda zoom in here and grab it. <clears throat> Alright, how much more do we have now? Uh, yeah, that should be plenty. I didn't really need, much, need or want much more, so that one tree is perfectly fine. Okay, 
guys. So let's go up here and we'll start figuring out where this is going to need to be. Uh, just two more out from there. Okay. We'll, we'll use utilize this. Properly utilize our girl power. <laughs> get this part built up I may end up keeping this beam here just because it'll give more support in the event uh, something does get in here that could um, actually hurt our base you gotta be like Jade utilize <laughs> utilize your girl your properly utilize your girl power yeah, I know we're gonna need like more of this stuff too we don't strictly need these poles to build up the ramp that we're gonna work on but it's certainly easier when you do when you do it this way because these are um, these poles are very easy to just kind of stick down and use up oh, come on get, get up here okay then we're gonna uh, trying to shove this in there for now so yeah to be able to to be able to get these bores up here we're gonna need uh, these uh, 26 degree thatch roofs because they're about as good as you can really get as far as a ramp goes so we're gonna need to get down here and just kind of keep building up up oh, crunch <laughs> hmm kind of an, kind of an, an annoying height to do stuff at but <laughs> we'll find a way to get, make it work <laughs> okay so that goes down two meters. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, building this game can be a little awkward sometimes. We can do one of these. Alright, and then we'll attach uh, that and that, and then we'll attach. <clears throat> Touch one of these just so we can keep getting the spacing right. And then we'll be able to do like that and that. Then we could do we could do normal wood for this uh, part that we're doing now. Just cause I mean it's not super high off the ground, so it's not like it's gonna be like that problematic. As it is, this being being kind of on a hill right here is a nice advantage because we don't have to like use as much resources or time to do this. Uh, let's whip you there, there, and. No, we'll just use regular wood for the rest of this. I mean, we'll get it all back when, when it's time to, um, when we break it all anyway, because you just get all your stuff, all the resources back. It's, like, just barely not, like, touching the ground. I guess we'll flatten the earth a little bit here to just kind of make it easier to work with. Up, oh, fine, fine game. Keep your secrets. <laughs> I guess it's just just barely not tall enough. That's not even really touching the ground. <laughs> Jeez. You know what? It's not even like 
l locked on or whatever, but I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. I'm just trying to get this put together so I can get these boars where they need to go. <laughs> yes, that's 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 what flat earth really means. That's what they really want. They want they want flat earth so they can build ridiculous boar ramps. You know, I don't even care. It, just, it touches the ground. We can probably push the boars up this way. That's all we really need. We can pretty this place up again later whenever the time comes to, uh, you know. We just need to make sure we can get the boars up here. Go away. <laughs> oh. All right. Now we're gonna build some of these uh round these uh round pole fences, partially because they're kind of like at this like awkward ass angle, but that's actually perfect for what we're we're doing because we're pushing boars uphill, <laughs> so the angle kind of works in our favor a little bit. You have to be like certain distance near. Um, workbench to actually build stuff so and we're gonna build these up up the side of the ramp too because yeah I don't want to have to chase boars up and down this thing for like 20 minutes <laughs> Frankly, that's probably enough to get that boar in there, and then we'll worry about the second boar once we get the first boar in here. Just kind of trying to line this up so they can't, like, squeeze past. I mean, they're not, they don't move an awful lot, but they will, they do kind of fight you sometimes with it, so you kind of have to, alright, that should be sufficient. So, for now, it's... Well, we can get rid of these ground things, because they were just for measuring out things. For my own sanity's sake of having things be where they need to be. Or rather, where I want them to be, I guess. So, let's get rid of those. These are staying here, because this is going to be kind of like the way to keep the boars from getting in here and maybe escaping. For now, we'll get rid of the, that, and we shall move. We'll move it like right here, I guess. It's kind of not flat, which is weird. I thought that would be flat. So we'll just flatten it a little bit, and now I can place it down. Cool. These uh these these workbenches have a pretty wide radius. You can usually do stuff in. Should be plenty. Oh, we probably should build more things here too, so they don't wander off over there. Cause you do not want to give these the AI any chance to do stupid shit. Cause that they, they will. It will. And we're just gonna do that. And we only need two of these boars to go up there. Let's get rid of this. And, uh, it's not really doing anything for us. All right, are two of you gonna willingly volunteer? Maybe not willingly, but I could probably I could probably force the issue with. Oh no, one of them looks like it might. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll seal this back up once we have two boars that are actually going that direction. Up. Oh. Kind of wiggle ourselves in there. We'll push you, and you're going, and... All right, cool. We got two boars. Uh, so let's start... Let's start fighting them. Come on. Come, come on. It, it's, a, it's all right. <laughs> Just push this boar up the hill. <clears throat> sometimes they just kind of go up on their own, but that's only sometimes. Where are you going? Oh, I almost left too wide of a gap there, and it's like, I want to go that way! <laughs> so we're just going to push you up here. Let's get our stamina back a little bit. And I need to get a... Uh, it sounds weird, but I need to get a door ready. You might wonder why why a door? No, no, get get no. It's it's trying to not go in here. Get get in there. Get in there. It's like oh get get back in there. It's it's fine. I promise. No, <laughs> bitch. No. Got it. Maybe I should put the door in. Oh, you you just kind of came up in your here on your own. That's an ex. No, no, no. He's like, no, I, I changed my mind. No, you didn't. You did not change your mind. Ah, uh, the door got placed a little scuffed. I need to place it better. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's. Definitely a way to do it. Oh. oh, my hammer broke. I was like, what happened? My hammer just took just enough damage to... Well, yeah, wrangling hog. You literally just wrangling him. And y'all can stay down here. You're eventually going to be part of just the, the general populace. Let's eat more food just to have our stamina's back up. Gotta go fix our, our handy dandy hammer or hammy dammy so we got the boars in place so now we can just destroy all this stuff because we're only going to need two boars up there you could theoretically have two of these kind of situations like back to back but I don't care that much. This will be more than enough. Like, by a, a wide margin. Like, these will... Like, as long as we're near the base and they have food, they'll just be breeding all the time. Like, constantly. So I'm not really that worried about... So we break this. And this will start falling apart. It's supposed to. Oh, don't tell me I built it too structurally sound. Uh, you know what? Whatever. We'll go. We'll start tearing it down from the top then. I was too good at the video game. It's not a sentence I should ever fucking say, because <laughs> that's unlikely to be true. <laughs> All right, so we can destroy this stuff because they're in there now. They're not going anywhere. Their their heads can stick through the the, the door, as you can see. That's why we're using the doors, because. Their hitbox can stick to the door, and honestly, those doors are placed in a weird, uh, different place than I was expecting, but that's actually perfect, because their head sticks through even easier than it normally would. So we can delete you, let's, we're gonna just start doing like this. Like all the stuff falling apart around me. The good thing about building this is like, like the footprint doesn't use much resources. It just takes a lot of stuff to kind of get everything in place. But once you do, you kind of get all that stuff back, and then you just kind of have, like, oh my, my character weighs too much from all the wood that we got back. 
Well, let's go to our cart and we'll just kind of store it in here for now. Yeah, we didn't need remotely close to what I got for this. I kind of overprepared, but that's fine. And then I, I guess we just have some floating fences right now. Just break this so we can kind of get in here to more easily. Um, keep that there. That's fine as it is. Do that. This is fine. We could probably just break this now. Yeah, we can just break these now because. Yeah, the boars can roam free. We could keep these poles here for support. They're not necessary. Only one of them is technically necessary, but I don't know. It just feels nicer to have actual support for the structure to spend like 20, 30 minutes working on. You know, it just it sounds like a good idea to me. All right. And now we can start just destroying this stuff too. Be very careful what we're destroying, because if I accidentally click one of these poles, that could be catastrophic. Alright. So now we got our little boars spread now, being nice and happy. Good for them. Well, after we sleep, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate the power. Yay, catastrophe. No, not yay. <laughs> In this case, not yay. That would be a big waste of our time. Well, not like entirely. I've had a good time building it because I built it completely from like memory this time instead of having to watch the video back like 10 different times that I was, got the idea from. You are wet. No, you. Yeah, the reason I don't want to didn't want to feed the boars now before we slept is when you sleep, it passes time by, which includes the uh, food consumed time by the your animals. So it would have wasted some of the food. But yeah, you can see the the portal up there is nice and lit up, which means it's active, which is good because now we can just get back up there very easily. Kitties. <laughs> Now what we gotta do, uh, let's split the stack of carrots in half, uh, we'll throw that there, and it immediately started eating, because boars are very happy to just eat food. Oh, the, oh, they're already, it, it's already begun, <laughs> let's just leave, leave them to their privacy, and I want to stand under this to just watch the fireworks well maybe not fireworks but just I want to I want to see it happen so we're gonna kind of sit here for a minute and just, just observe I think they are oh no they're still doing the whole breeding thing so let's we'll just get let's sit here for a second we'll just kind of watch the rain hit our eyeballs or eyeball in my case. There's not any more hearts up there. Oh, no, there's another heart up there. They're probably still figuring their stuff out. Sometimes you just gotta figure yourself, your stuff out. Oh, just oh, the sun's rising. Hopefully, it's driving away the rain. Yay! You can see Yggdrasil's branches or whatever. And we're just waiting. For, we're just. Oh, I just want to see it happen. <laughs> and it should plop right down underneath the structure. 
In a few, it's been a few, just a few hours the sun will rise. I hate how much, how much I think that. Just one I'm just gonna, going around in real life. Come on. I know they bred. We're just waiting to see them, uh, see the baby come to life. I mean, we'll hear it, but I want to see it happen. I was very enthusiastic about this this structure because once we have, once it's set up and properly working, which it should be now, as long as we keep those two boars up there fed and we're around the area, they'll just they'll just make boars. And this little pit, this little area below here, will be just full of boars. Oh. <laughs> There's the baby! <laughs> the miracle of life! <laughs> oh, I love that. Just plop! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> that's fucking great. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the boar tower. It's not really that complicated to make, and... While we're in the area, they'll just kind of do that. And we're going to be in the area because for the rest of the stream, we're probably going to try to finish mining this copper vein over here. Oh, yeah, they definitely killed that uh, that boar that was over here. And one one of, one of those two-star boars gives, uh, maybe not necessarily the trophy, but like four meat and four leather. And that's every single of those boars that that thing is just going to make while we're doing other things, so y y you're gonna have a lot of boar meat. But yeah, there's some bits of copper left here that we're gonna get. We should be close enough for the boars to still do their uh, business. I don't think there's much copper left here, but it's... Nope, there should still be some. Uh, we've got like two so far. Let's move that like up here. <clears throat> yeah, essentially, once you have like a bunch of carrots going, just mining away, and you'll hear another squeal. Oh, there's another one! Basically, yeah. <laughs> We're a little farther away from it, so it should still be in like render distance, but. We might not be able to necessarily hear it as easily. And yeah, this copper deposit's pretty big. It's kind of stretching underneath the earth. You do, you do more damage to the rocks when you're on top of them, so I just, I'm trying to do that, but it's not always easy when the, like the, the rock is like underground or like in, in the middle of the ground. So you kind of have to just kind of take what you can get sometimes. Just kind of spying on the tower from over here, seeing if... Um, I would assume we're close enough for it to still be active. We probably just can't hear it. In part because... Oh, I just heard it! <laughs> I just heard it. So yeah, we're still close enough for it to be doing its thing. I just... <laughs> the, the miracle of life. Cock-a-doodle-doo! While this antler pickaxe I'm using now is still will still remain useful for stuff like digging out rock and dirt, like in general, 
uh, we're going to be wanting to make a better pickaxe for mining other stuff. Because some things need a higher tier pick. And, well, it's just nicer to have one when you can. Uh, don't see any more. Like, this copper vein was pretty sizable. And that's why I built my my first, like, major base here. There's still some left. Oh, well, that part was a little hurt. Uh, so weight-wise, we still have some weight, and we've got some copper on us. Let's keep digging. Now something really satisfying you can do is if you dedicate a whole bunch of time to it is you can like dig out dig like out like underneath and around one of these copper deposits and then you start just mining chunks of it and they just start like exploding because there's no support to them. It can be really satisfying, but that takes a lot of uh, effort. We might be able to see it happen with this though. Oh, don't roll down the hill. Come back. <laughs> Little stones rolling down the hill. Makes me cautious about have I had any copper roll down the hill? Uh, I don't see any little sparkles, so probably not. Man, so let's... Oh, not that. Uh, let's flatten some ground here in case stuff does fall. Maybe it won't fall completely to the bottom of the hill. Maybe it'll, like, stop here or something. <laughs> You absolutely should make the rolling. I mean, you you know, you know the jokes I was making yesterday. Those are like my tier of jokes. Please feel free. <laughs> I'll probably laugh anyway. Look, everyone complains about low hanging fruit, but low hanging fruit's probably still tasty too. You know. I'm gonna need more chests for all this stone. Hey! <laughs> there you go. See, that was easy. Well, let's put this copper away. It just takes a lot of weight. I wonder if any of these piggies have been born that are, uh, I hadn't had, didn't hear. Okay, so I see one. I see two. I see three. I think there was one, I think one happened that I didn't hear, cause yeah, there's three babies in here, and they're up there just having a nice little honeymoon. Good for them. Good for them, bitches. Good for them. Okay, those are doing fine. We'll be able to tell when those are done when they have the big flowers on them. Do need to fix my antler pick. And then we'll go back to mining. I should probably be making some charcoal while we're doing this. So let's get that started up. That was rude. That was a rude piece of earth. Okay, five. Let's keep mining. Let's keep mining. Kind of slid down the side of this rock. Yeah, they're just going, just, just going down the hill here. Let's do this. Uh, maybe we can stop some of the stuff from rolling all the way down the hill. Really? Yeah, 
Yeah, easily the most tedious part of getting uh, metal in this part of the game, in this like stage of the game, is getting all mining the copper. It just takes a lot of effort. And you need like two copper and like one tin to make one bronze. So you just got to do a lot of mining. There might be some more copper in this inside the rock like just merged in here oh that was a bit of a fall jeez kind of like made this little cave in here that's kind of cool so I'm gonna have to break this to get out You'll never find me, silly little gray dwarf. <laughs> did it just, did it leave? <laughs> eh, kind of. Kind of an awkward spot. Let me just uh, do this so I can kind of get out of the rock. Maybe, if I can jump, perhaps? Ugh, oh, God, why? I'm free! Let's just break this rock because there's more copper in here anyway. Yeah, I see there's like a bit of more stuff in here. <clears throat> With those two boars up there in the sky, there's almost nothing that can really like get to them. Especially not in this point of the game that can really get up there to hurt them. So we basically just don't have to worry about our boars anymore. Which is nice because it takes a while to tame them so it's nice when you don't have to worry about having to retame some boars eventually because of some annoying crap let's break this I hear y'all doing stuff. Can you can you keep the racket down? Oh, I heard another child being born. Let's see how many more children there are now. Let's see, I can already see like Oh, I can hear them breeding more upstairs. Three, four. Okay, so the one I just heard was the latest child to be born. It's right there. Or it, it's one of these. Can't really tell the difference between them. That's okay. How, how many more? Okay, this thing's almost done with its charcoal. We're almost done with this, uh, this, this node of, um, copper right here as well. Might kind of dig around to make sure I didn't miss any, because... I mean, there's more, there's definitely more copper nodes, like, on the map that I have found. And there are probably some more over here that I just haven't really cared to look at. But if this one's, like, right next, this is literally right where I made my base, because there's one right here, so. Might as well get the one that's closest to my house. Let 
There it goes. Get that big. Oh, God. That was a lot of stuff. I mean, I don't think that was all, like, actual items. It's probably partially, like, just, like, debris. I heard another boar be born. They, they were born. <laughs> they were born into this, this bitch of an earth. Yeah, I'm suspecting there might be more copper over that away, but as far as I'm concerned, this vein is now no more. And it got us another like 18 copper. That's not bad. We also got some more charcoal here. We're going to start some more up. Now, eventually, later in the game, you can find these uh, spawners for these creatures called Certlings, which not only do they drop coal when they die, but they also drop those cores that we had to go to the dungeons for. So, once we get to that point, it'd be really nice if we can find some of those spawners, because in one of my other offline files, I just never found any when I was exploring around, so I just had to make all this coal myself. Once you find one of those spawners, you just kind of set it up in a certain way where they fall in the water and die because they're fire creatures and then you just, you just walk in grab all the stuff and you're like okay cool thanks <laughs> it's pretty funny actually they just kind of grab stuff and go hi worm what's up chungy boy big bungus big chungus Alright, since we're, our current mission is to get this, uh, this bronze made up, this, uh, copper made up, rather, we are going to turn the, uh, smelters and the charcoal kilns take the same resources, so you can kind of, like, set up how many of each that you need based on what you have. So we're going to, uh, set up two of, two of these, uh, f these, uh, smelters. Load that one up, and then we'll load. Oh, that one's already got a. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I was like, and we'll load them both up with more coal. And then we'll load this one up with coal wherever it's a little hole. The coal hole. There's the coal hole. The sea pineapple. <laughs> Halo Cynthia an edible obsidian, sea squirt, consumed primarily in Korea, where it is known as Myong, and to a lesser extent in Japan, where it is known as Hoya or Mayboya. Good good morning, Hug Dispenser. <laughs> Thank you for the 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 whatever that was. <laughs> oh, there's another child. Another child has been born. Yeah, we made this uh, this boar tower here for ha for f mass producing boars. To we're abusing game mechanics to just breed inf infinite boars. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six babies so far. And the mama and the papa, or I guess it's kind of like Minecraft how the boars don't really have a, ge a specific gender. Non-binary boars unite. <laughs> Non-bornary. Yeah, there, <laughs> there we go. I know I could have come. I know I could have. I know I can't could have come up with a pun, better pun for that. Non-bornary. Here, gray dwarf causing a ruckus in my shit. Non-born airy, yep. That is a gold, that's a gold mine for puns. Oh, give me your little stinky tree bastards. Oh. 
Alright. What do we have in this cart here? Let's unload the cart, because we're going to go um, investigate, see if there's another copper node over yonder. And I want my cart to be nice and empty. My cart overrunneth, Lord. <laughs> okay, you can go in there for now. You go there. All this resin fucking goes in here. I have way too much of it. Let's fix our stuff. Looks like we can eat more food. At some point soon, I'm going to have to cook more deer meat and maybe hunt more deer. But let's take our little... Oh, I'll leave the cart here. We're just going to, like, explore. There's some copper that we're smelting. There was copper here, but uh, you can see how I did things. <laughs> so we're going to kind of explore some of the other rocks in the area on this side of the river to see if I find any more copper, because I didn't really, like, look. I was just like, oh, there's copper there, so I made my base there. But I didn't really look very much more. Oh, there's, speaking of deer, there's one. So let's just run up here. Don't see anything there. Dude. Push, don't push me around. <laughs> don't push me around. <laughs> okay, that's not a, that's not copper. There's some thistles I don't have marked over here. That's pretty nice. Oh, there's some blue. There's some bloobs over here too. Night, big big old bloobies. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. Um, let's, uh, flatten the ground a little bit to make it a little... Alright, we'll mark these on the map as well. That's not, that's not the map. That's not the map either. either. There's the map. It's the map, it's the map, it's the map. Okay, I think there was some thistles too somewhere. That's not copper either. <laughs> They're literally the first to get added to the sci-fi or fantasy setting. You talking about blueberries? Okay, this is the thistles. Yeah, that makes sense. They're like, oh, blueberries are like so magical. Blueberried. Gonna blueberry you in your grave. <laughs> Alright, let's look. I'm just trying to find some more copper before we end stream on this side. If I can find some more on this side of the river, that'd be great. But I have a feeling we're probably not going to. Then again, sometimes you can find some surprising things on like the very edge of your biomes, like this. A blueberry powered magic system. You have to squeeze the blueberry juice out and it's like oil. Like blueberry, blueberry goo powered machines. <laughs> you, squeeze, you squeeze a bunch of blueberries into like an engine and it starts humming and purring. Raidors. They'll probably end up harassing me soon anyway, but. Oh, I, I see some copper. Some deer, too. Well, that, that deer had the right idea. Oh. This one did not.
What does this one say? Oh, that's another Grey Dwarf one. Sigil's made of blood? No, Sigil's made of blueberry juice. <laughs> Bloop, <laughs> blue before the blueberry god. It's not blued, it's bloob. I want to suck your bloob. <laughs> All right. Well, there. Well, we came here to get this uh, to at least mark this copper, but there's a bunch of tin around too, so we'll probably mine that and then go back. We'll mark this with the little Mjolnir symbol, like I have for other spots, like over there. Now that I found this one, probably not going to be mining any of the other coppers on the map unless we really need more. And hopefully, at that point, we'll have a better pick so that we can actually mine stuff quicker, because. Mining stuff with this uh, antler pickaxe is a little slow. It's not the end of the world, but definitely uh, could be faster. But yeah, there's like a good amount of tin just right here, so we're just gonna get that. I wish copper was like this and not like the that, because these little tins are pretty easy to mine. Oh, there's more right here. Perfect. That's normal rocks. That thing over here, it switches back to meadows. Yeah, it looks like it does. There's a bar. Hello. I don't need to kill you, but you're just going to chase me... It's gonna just follow me around and harass me anyway, so I might as well just save myself the trouble. Okay, those are just normal rocks. Nice rock, where'd you get it? Rock store? <laughs> uh, that's just a normal rock, we don't need that really. It's like a red, a red gray dwarf. <laughs> Rock store. Oh, there's a troll. You know, let, let's fucking fight a troll is like one of the last things to do in this stream. It's, it'd be we fought a few earlier, but. Oh, oh, right in the fucking head. That's what you get. Frowno, being the biggest man, biggest member of the Blue Man group. What you doing? What you got, what you gonna do about it, huh? He's gonna st stomp over here and probably try to... What, I could... Where's, where's that copper at? We could, we, we could use this troll to uh, mine some copper for us, actually. Well, not mine, but he they destroy the terrain, and that include, that can include a... Come on, come here, you big bastard. That can include the copper deposits. Let's kill you, you before... Oh, well, never mind. It's a little late for that. Well, you gotta be very cautious, because... Especially when you got like a gray dwarf just like running around like a little bass, like a little jackass. Woo! Oh! And these graylings are pretty harmless, but they can just get in your way and keep you from like properly running away from the door from the troll. So you gotta have to be you kinda have to be cautious of how you're doing this silly shit. Come on, swing. There you go. Suck in a tree. <laughs> Door. 
morph. <laughs> oh. You want you want to swing so badly. This will save us a good amount of time. To, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, you don't want to get stuck in the uh, you know, in the rock. That's uh, not ideal. Seems like he's a little glitched out. Oh, well that's not what I meant to do. Oh, need, not that either. Yep, yeah, this is why you should, uh... I mean, it's fine to do this, but you definitely want to, uh... Not try to do stupid shit like I'm doing right now. Just, like, getting hit. That's gonna soften you up a little bit more. Uh, let's let's see if we can get the 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 troll to break some a little bit more. Don't want to break this so bad. Let's. You want to break this so bad. Okay, there's starting to be too many things around here. We're gonna have to... We'll probably have to dismiss this troll from, from, our, from its job. Yeah, we'll kill the troll off now. It saved, it saved us quite a bit of time. Oh, would help if I actually hit the arrow. Alright. Whee! Like how his little leg just flopped over there like that. Alright. Y'all are annoying the piss out of me. Oh, there's a troll head. Perish. Dismiss it from life. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah, that troll did a number on this rock. We could have got it to do more, but the gray dwarves were kind of pissing me off a little bit. Uh, let's build one of these. After we flatten the ground just a hair. And that'll keep the stuff in this area from despawning, which is going to include all this ore that we just couldn't grab. Although it would be wiser if we made like a little chest for it, but we just don't have the stuff for that. I mean, we might, but I don't know how much wood this is. Yeah, we're, we're, we're full up on stuff. We're gonna go offload things, come back. Hopefully the troll stuff is still there, but if it's not, I'm not going to really lose too much sleep over it. Because the copper is kind of why we uh, were here. And we got a nice little, bit, a nice little chunk of it from having the troll break the ground for us. You can use that to technically um, skip the whole first boss if you can get a troll to break enough ore to make the bronze pick you can uh get away with like just not <laughs> fighting the first boss first boss is pretty easy though so it's not really like a necessary thing to do it's it's kind of funny but not necessary all right let's most of our weight was from just like the ore and stuff Uh, let's try to get our rested back so we can just run most of the time. <laughs> you don't feel rested anymore. I'm suffering at work, never rested. <laughs> right? You're just like, you just get to work and it's like, 
you don't feel rested anymore. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I know. I'm here. Alright, cool. Yeah, last thing we're going to be doing with the, with the stream is running back getting as much of that stuff that's there still and bringing it back. Oh, game just had a little bit of a moment. The second you walk in the door, you don't feel rested anymore. <laughs> you could eat another bite. <laughs> the soul just escapes your body. What is going on? Game's doing weird shit right now. What? I think it's fine now? Question mark? Well, it's a thistle, like, stuck inside the other bush. I was like, what is that? Alright. Wee! Oh hey, even the even the troll stuff is still here. I'm more concerned about any and all bits of copper as opposed to, I don't know, troll skin, but I mean, it's probably not all probably didn't get all that much copper from the troll doing this. I mean we got four here and I think we had like eight previously. I mean, definitely, uh, definitely helped a little bit. There's still plenty of mine here, though. But hopefully, we will be able to make a um, make ourselves a um, bronze pick with some of the stuff we got from that. I'll see if I can have enough stuff to make the bronze pick before I end, but we might not have enough sorry deer nothing personal I just need deer meat and skin because to make the boats you need uh, deer hides and I'm thinking next stream we do that we do of this which would be next when well might, it's probably it might be next Wednesday uh, this weekend on Sunday I'm gonna be at work so Sunday like we're not, we might not have we're probably not gonna have streams Monday or Tuesday next week because I'm just gonna be probably very tired I plan to have at least some streaming this Saturday because I'm, I'm not gonna be at work but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be feeling that you don't feel rested anymore thing real hard on Sunday. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Uh, the bees are sleeping. Yeah, I'll be getting. I'll be trying to get as much rest as I can. But uh, things might be going back to normal like s s Tuesday evening. So if that's the case, then I'll probably stream on Wednesday. Uh, let's offload some stuff like that. Grab this copper, we'll take it inside. If there's one thing I'm missing, it's probably the, uh, the tin for what I was wanting to do, so... So we're gonna make bronze like this. Okay, then it leaves us eight more of that, which means we need four more. Uh... This will load up this, because when you sleep, time progresses for like crops and for stuff like this so if you uh load up like that and then you go to sleep you'll still get like kind of free production out of the time you would otherwise would have not used or whatever words that mean things i don't know i don't know what words are nope oh, there's a child that was born you heard it squeak I wonder how many are in that pin now, because there were three adults. 
that we had left over that we didn't drag up to the top. So let's grab this tin here and we'll make the rest of the bronze that we have immediate access to. We're gonna make these uh, bronzes individually. See, bronze pickaxe. Oh, we have just enough. I just need core wood and we can actually make a better pickaxe. Should have core wood somewhere. Here we go. Alright, bronze pickaxe. Pretty good, pretty good achievement. We got the boar tower made and we got the bronze pick. It's pretty good use of the time, honestly. Can't really complain there. And we even got enough troll hides to upgrade another piece of our armor. To tier three. Let's put some stuff away. Troll head. We've killed five trolls because they almost always drop their heads when you kill them. I want to say it's. I want. I want to say it's a hundred percent drop rate, but I don't really know if it is. It seems like it though. It seems like a thing they would do is make it like a, just a guaranteed drop. Okay. Then we've got. Necktails, woo! <laughs> I, I think that every single time I see the the, the item Necktail, because it's a cre it's a water spirit called Nex, and in this game they are per they are characterized as little lizards. Okay, and then we have treasure here. Let's go see how many boars we have. Oh, the, the carrots are also done too, so that'll be a nice thing that we'll be able to do next time. All right, so oh, some of the boars grew up, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, we 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 we're having we're we're having some good progress with this. I don't know how many more carrots they have, or if they've ran out, which is fine. If they ran out of carrots, we'll get them more. Uh, Next stream. Okay, yeah, they're out of carrots, which is fine. That just means they won't breed anymore. They'll just they'll just be alive up here, just no breeding. Suffocation, no breeding. <laughs> uh why? Why does that why does my brain have to just jump to freaking like mid two thousands like alternative songs? Fuck me. <laughs> That's so stupid. That's just a glimpse into my twisted mind. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck's sakes. Alright, so we got the pickaxe made. We're probably gonna end up trying to get more bronze made specifically next stream. S since we're not gonna... Since this is set up, that was like kind of the big thing. I had to go finding a dungeon to get this set up, but we got it. And we got, let me just kind of grab this real quick, I guess. We got all of these. We had uh, 54 carrots, and I think we planted uh, 44 of them. And each of these will give us three seeds, so we should have like 100 something carrots that we can plant next time. I'm not gonna do it now, because I mean, it doesn't really matter right now. We're not gonna. I'm not, I don't play these files, like, off, quote-unquote, off the clock. Oh, right, yeah, it's like 130, that's a lot of carrots. We're at the point now, like, we could, um, we could plant these, like, 130-something, and then we could basically replant 40 of them to make a like when they're all grown we can replant like 40 of them to kind of remake the seeds we used and then just continuously just do cycles of just carrots yeah I'll get this I'll get the stuff ready for it but we're not gonna plant those this stream that's a lot of seeds so, boar tower, we got the bronze pickaxe, we upgraded our, our armor, we've been growing carrots. We went to a dungeon. Good stream. Good stream. So, let me go ahead and I'll quit out. 
And we'll do the str Come on. Come on, game. It's fine. Just quit. It's fine. All right. So that is going to be my stream for today. Thank you, everyone, for coming by and hanging out. I appreciate the company. Um, I plan to stream at least some on Saturday. I kind of have to, since uh, the, the schedule changes, I'll be doing work on Sunday this next um, up a week for work, very important work stuff where we'll have to all kind of be there for. So Sunday is, my Sunday is basically gone to the fucking wolves at this point. So Saturday when I normally do those big streams, I'm still planning the stream, but me and my roommate are going to have to probably do shopping that day. Sturm has everything. Rocks, carrots, and the sun. <laughs> the sun will be the sun on Sunday. <laughs> so my Saturday stream, I still plan to at least do some streaming, but I have to do, me and my roommate probably going to end up doing some shopping that day too for groceries or whatever since or I can't do it on Sunday because I'll be at work. But yeah. So there, I'll probably still stream some. I don't know what, which I don't know if there's one stream that's going to not happen or if it's going to be two of them if I'm willing to stream in the morning. I'll figure it out. But for now, at least expect one stream on Saturday at least. But that is going to be this stream for today. Bye. Let me see if I can find someone to raid. I was doing clip making stuff from Monday. I was looking, I was like, oh, who we got? So let me go back to this. We'll go back to Twitch. And let's see who's live. Um, who are you? Okay. Uh, don't really see anyone specifically that I feel like raiding today. So, yeah, we're just going to end the stream. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Y'all have a great day.